In this video, I will show you a simple hack to make higher resolution fluid simulations in Blender to emulate castings using booleans and mesh cache. First, get a nice 3D model for the mold. I found this one from the museums of Malopolska on Sketchfab. With the default cube and our model imported in Blender, I am rotating the model to make a negative shape of the face in which to pour our liquid. Then on the cube, a simple boolean operation allows to create the mold, which will be used as a collision object for the fluid simulation. Now let's quickly make a fluid simulation. Under the physics tab, set the collision object to a fluid effector and collision type. I just increased the sampling substeps to be more precise. Then the easiest way is to add some geometry to add liquid into the simulation, a simple plane with thickness will do, and just go into the object tab, quick effect, and quick liquid. That will automatically add a domain and some settings to start with. Resize the domain to contain only the interesting geometry and not lose any precious resolution. Also increase the domain resolution a bit. For our emitter plane, I'm going to change the behavior to inflow and keyframe its state to only emit liquid during the first 20 frames. Now to launch the simulation. On the domain under the cache settings, set the type to all in order to bake everything in one go on your disk. And don't forget to enable mesh so we don't have only the particles of the simulation. When it's done, you can turn off the particle visibility to only view the liquid mesh. And here is the result. As expected, the resolution isn't too good and looks quite blobby. Let's create some geometry from our collision object to use as a boolean mesh and trim some parts of the simulation. Duplicate the collision mesh with Shift D and rename it boolean. The idea is to make a clean manifold mesh that will allow to only keep the liquid that intersects with it and effectively transfer its resolution to our liquid simulation. To only keep the face of our sculpture, I am deleting the flat face and selecting the rest of the geometry by hitting L, which I can then delete. Now in edge selection mode, I can select the top edge loops with alt click and extrude it along the z-axis until our liquid emitter is inside the mesh. We can complete our manifold mesh with a simple face by pressing F. Into the viewport overlays, enable face orientation to check the state of our mesh. To fix this, select everything with A and click Shift N to recalculate normals. Now on our liquid domain object, I can add a boolean modifier, set it to intersect and select our boolean mesh. The resolution right away is way better, while we keep our fluid simulation. You can move around the boolean mesh and scale it if needed to obtain a clean and smooth result without the blobs of the fluid sim. This is great but the playback speed is really slow because the boolean modifier needs to update on every frame and it takes a while to compute. To fix this, we can compute everything once by exporting our mesh into an alumic file which supports animated mesh, then we will import it and only work with this new pre-baked animated mesh. Make sure to check selected objects in order to not export everything. That will take a while, but it will be worth it. Now move all your simulation meshes into a collection, which you can deactivate. Import your alambic file, and you are left with a really high resolution fluid simulation in Blender. Hope this quick tutorial was useful to some of you. See you next time.